Hello, freaks. I am. Who am I? I'm the. <laughs> I'm the infernal viewer. viewer. Thank you. I I I sort of Bruce forgot, forgot your own there. name. I forgot my own name. Yes. <laughs> um. And today we're talking about. Ah. Uh, we 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 are talking about. I'll put it close to it. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> unearthly child. So the very first um Doctor Who story. Um. Are you checking yourself out? I am. Okay. Um, so obviously, welcome like, to the very first review or episode of Doctor Who Watch Through, as that's that's what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, let's talk about it. So, No Free Child obviously was broadcast uh, 23rd of November, 1963. So, okay. Mm. Um, so obviously it's nearly the 60th anniversary, I think it's the, uh, 2023 is the 60th yeah. anniversary, um, which is very exciting. Yeah, I wonder what they'll do this time, because mm. obviously the 50th was very exciting. It was, yes. Um, it, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, so yeah, this one is by Anthony Coburn, that is the, the writer of this one. Um, so let's talk about it. So the um, obviously this is sort of setting up the story of Doctor Who. Uh, we we should add that we watched both the unaired pilot and the yeah the, uh, actual which I didn't I, I'd completely forgotten the existence of the unaired pilot. Yeah, it's 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 kind of famous in in classic Who circles, but well, Doctor yeah. Who circles just in general, to be fair, but. Uh, yeah, so we, we did watch both of them, and we obviously watched the rest. The caveman Uganagi at each other. Yes. Fire! Zar! Zar make fire! <laughs> yes. Carl make fire! Zar make not fire! He leave you to the cold! <laughs> uh, I think I make a very good caveman. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, the, uh, the, the first episode, I mean... The sort of general consensus with this one is the first episode is, is really good, it's fantastic, um, really classic sort of setup, and then the rest <laughs> is kind of eh. <laughs> totally agreed. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I was watching it and I was like, the first episode was really um so the unaired pilot, I was like, Oh, I'm really into this. And then um but I, then I was like, Oh, I'm not quite sure that I like the doctor in this one. And then it played the same episode again and I was like Wait, wait, what, what, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah, I forgot um, that I it immediately. The yeah, I forgot that it, yeah. Um, Definitely so, much prefer the Doctor in the air at, pilot, yeah, yeah. In the actual aired episode, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, he's definitely toned down a lot. He's a lot nicer. I did quite like his meanness, I've got to be honest. It was interesting to watch. I mean, he does, he does me play off. it really well. Um, <laughs> like, he, he seems almost kind of evil really in the original. Yeah. He, he does seem kind of evil. But no, he's definitely a lot more sort of in 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 um in the first episode he's sort of got the twinkle in the eye, he's got the he's kind of mischievous, he's cheeky. In the other episodes, I think maybe because they, you know, had time to sort of re script and reshoot the first one, um, it meant that they could really refine that idea. But then um you're right. I need to take this so that you're not waving it around. I like waving it around. <laughs> Gonna hit me in the face. I like waving it around. It's it's woo. Um yeah, so uh oh no, I've forgotten what I was saying now. You've put me off. I'm sorry. Um okay. They yeah. rescripted? Oh yeah, so they had to, they sort of had time to sort of go back and tighten everything up with the with the first episode. And it really shows, like it's a really tight, um, really well done, like the actual air thing is really tight, really well done. It's it's got a bit of an ominous about it, you know, and um, you do really feel like you're entering entering into this massive adventure, you know. Um, it's really well done. But then, um, but the the Doctor in the later parts does sort of get a bit of that again. Yeah, the definitely. Old, you know, I mean, unaired he, pilot he sort style. of calls for everyone to start stoning one of the cavemen, and it's like, Jesus. Well. <laughs> I no, mean, you know, no, 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 no. Well, no, because he's sort of saying, they "Oh, do all start stoning him." Yes, but they're sort of driving him out. But that obviously makes sense. I don't really think that was that didn't really make me go, "Oh, you know," because um, they all sort of do that because it's like otherwise they'd be pushed out. So it's like, okay, yeah, fair enough. 
Um, no, the, the one that everybody sort of generally brings up is the time. And I love the fact you'll go, oh, when they sort of go, oh, push him out. And they're not like, you know, I mean, they're friends, don't them, but you know. Um, he's obviously, yeah, that's, he, that's he does reasonable. kind of feel I'm um, doctorish. I mean, obviously he has a pipe, um, which quickly vanishes after, after this. Um, but also, uh, he obviously, uh, is about to try and fracture someone's skull with a stone. Yeah. Oh yes. That bit. Cause yeah. he's, he's not like, cause he's like, oh, I don't want to help this guy. Um, he's, he's not willing to help anyone really. He's really out for himself in a lot of ways and, and obviously susan um but yeah i mean i really uh ian and barbara are quite fun i do really like them the um it, it's interesting because uh if you notice in like the unaired pilot um their dialogue is a lot sort of slower and a lot more laid back i think and then the actual aired one i think you know because they sort of they know their lines now and it's like and um, but they do say you know um when you're on the thing you want to say it as fast as you can so you can get it all through it's like you know, someone be at the back of the camera going, come on, come on, come quickly, on. get get through the lines, get through the lines. Um, but they, <laughs> Yeah, I really noticed that as well. But, but Barbara and Ian do immediately sort of have a really great, you know, chemistry. Yeah, um, definitely. And they're really fun to watch. I do really like Barbara and Ian, I must say. Um, Su Susan suffers from the... Um, the scream at literally... Literally goes insane in the second part. When, uh, when, grandfather! Um, I think that was quite a good impersonation of her. Um, that was excellent. <laughs> when he, when he, um, when he obviously gets taken by the caveman. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Um, but no, it, it's, it's, it's quite fun still. I mean, there's still stuff to be enjoyed. Um, you've got obviously the terrible, terrible choreography of caveman fights. Of just them sort of wandering around going, Ugh! and going, and yeah, you know, my rolling around the is, floor. My favourite bit is Ian doing the fire, and he's like, supposed to be rubbing the sticks together, and they're like, five feet apart. apart. Yeah. It's just like, ah! five, they're, yeah, they're like five feet apart, you know, COVID restrictions for sticks. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it, it's pretty good though. I mean, obviously you've got the uh, you've got the fluff line a few times in there as well, um, but generally it's it's quite a fun one. I mean, like we say before, like the first episode is fantastic, really, really good. Um, yeah, it's really intriguing. It's like God, you can imagine just watching it and thinking, "The hell is going on? What, what what's gonna happen?" I must what? say though, I probably prefer the sort of um, like the the intro shot to the TARDIS in the unaired pilot than I did the other one. It seemed a bit too quick and you saw the 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 sort of the yes. console a bit too early. You know, they really sort of and it was like quite dramatic yeah, in it the was, unaired it was pilot. kind of like, yeah, that's right. Um no I agree with that actually. Because mm. it was kind of like, you know um what was it? It was it, in the one that actually went out. I think it was Barbara's face, and then you saw the whole thing. Well, you you saw a shot of the console, and then it pulled back, and then it went along like that, like it did in the original. But it, oh. yeah, it it was just a bit too too. You know, it didn't it didn't quite work for me. And also, there was a bit more grandiose, you know, to it. I think it was a bit more like whoa, you know. But it's it's still a really good still a really good shot. I will say that you know. Yeah, um, it, it's a. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic first episode and the rest is not terrible that's not to say the rest no is terrible. what i was saying it was it was kind of a solid sort of yeah um, it's enjoyable i mean story you know they like the historic there's definitely better historicals and like it, it's very sort of paper thin really the uh you know um i don't think they really because i mean obviously this was at the time as well that they were sort of going for a more sort of educational um spin as well they were sort of trying to add some education in, into yeah. the into the so this series. is how fire was um fa first found by yeah, the I doctor mean, giving them the, the fire them the... yeah no, it... no it wasn't the doctor even it was ian oh yeah it was ian sorry yeah <laughs> um but i, I do I think they'd had it before hadn't they because they were like oh he didn't show yes. me how to yeah his father um make fire from his hand yeah well no that was that i love was this the... guy no, no. i love the guy wanking off a bird oh sorry Oh, this is YouTube. You can't, you know, stop it. 
Oh my god. I love the guy. It does I, look really rude, yes. I love the guy rubbing the bone. <laughs> rubbing the bone. That's so bad. <laughs> no, it isn't. Um, what was I going to say? No, no, no. The fire from the hands thing was the guy that saw uh, the doctor with the pipe. Yeah, um, I know. It's like his matches, wasn't he? It's like makes fire from his fingers. Yeah, but uh, the old, so the the leader at the time, his father, you know, w was a fire maker, and all yeah. the son. Um, yeah, but I didn't. I mean, to be honest, there was. It didn't really feel like it. Really, I, I don't feel like I got anything from like you know I got taught anything really. <laughs> like I, I, it's, you know, obviously, you know, the the um. I think if you look at some of the other historicals, they're a bit better at sort of going about teaching how, you know, these people live. Whereas this felt a bit more like... It was a bit crazy because just... like things like where they kept <laughs> calling like the uh, sharp flint a knife. Yeah. And I could just, uh, for, for a moment, I was like, wait, where's the knife? What? <laughs> and Shut like... stone. Let <laughs> stone. <laughs> yeah. Trepanning. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Which they've been doing in the Cave of the Skulls, obviously. Mm. Letting all those demons out. Yeah. Um, but this, the Doctor's still good here. And I mean, to be fair, it does start a nice little arc for the first sort of three stories where, you know, they start out as kind of, you know, trapped with the Doctor and, you know, at each other's sort of loggerheads, you know, um, to what they sort of end up in by the time we finish uh, uh, Edge of destruction i think it's called so yeah um i i i still like the rest of the story it, it's a fun watch you know you've got some fun moments it's kind of you know you've got some silly moments um i love the fact that uh we've got old woman <laughs> old woman she doesn't have a name she's no. just an old woman <laughs> and the um the lead sort of female who's who's like married or, or you know of the partner of the um other it's case supposed it's to be like her. she wants to be paired off with um you know because yeah but like, she's you know, called her so yeah, she her. actually doesn't have a name either no <laughs> it's like whoa and i mean you know it is really um there are some there, there are, are some really dodgy bits in it there there are a few i mean you've obviously got the uh the red indian as a savage i think wasn't yes it? which you just saw, ooh, okay. Uh, I think a lot of people do tend to forget there are some, you know, I mean, obviously you've got, like, the really notable stuff in, like, you know, in Towns of Wang Chiang, but, like, you have stuff here which is, like, uh, you know, at the time, you know, it, it's a product of its time. It's not too bad, to be fair. I think most of it is fairly okay. Um, but, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, mo yeah, I mean, most of it just focuses on the on the cavemen, but I think it's it's more sort of, like... It's really weird because it's from the doctor's perspective and, you know, the things that he says. And it's like, oh, you know, uh, you know, it's all sort of protecting the women and, the, you know, all that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, I mean, obviously oh, at the time, you know, you, know you, you have a lot of that sort of like... Um, uh, prote Ian's women. got to carry the guy, otherwise it's going to be the women carrying him. And it's just like... Yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yes yeah. um but otherwise than that it, i mean it, it's a it's a fun enough story and i mean it is nice to go back and see where it all started um but obviously next is is the big one is how how the show really you know took off how it got the audience and how it survived really because uh if it had not been for the next story uh the daleks then um well we would uh, we would not have Doctor Who as we know it. No. We would probably not have Doctor Who. <laughs> it would probably be a very small thing lost to time. I know people keep trying to kill it off, but, you know, seriously, it's like... Just... Yeah. Just go away. Let's enjoy it. Well, it's less people <laughs> killing it off and more people wanting it to sort of die. I mean, they're not, you know... Um... But yeah, so yeah, that is An Unearthly Child. It's a fun story. We enjoyed it. We had a good time. Um, and I, I rather like this cover, actually. It's a nice, nice depiction of the story. So yeah.
yeah there you go that's the first episode we've started folks oh, i'm going off screen um we've started folks well done yeah, yeah. no I, I was gonna say i can't wait for the next one because you know i can i, I just want to imagine what it'd be like to be a, a little child in 1963 and see the daleks for the first time run just around like... the playground going exterminate <laughs> exterminate so yes all right then that is the uh that that's that's the episode woo, woo. <laughs> um yeah obviously uh we've got a podcast which i do with my mum here woo um you're right woo me <laughs> yeah woo you yeah exactly well i was more going woo the podcast oh, right. um uh yeah that's the woo! blathering on podcast <laughs> woo that's the blathering on podcast uh if you want to check it out it's on quite a few uh, things and we we talk about all sorts uh, of TV, films, and books. Uh, we're currently on series three, so check us out if you liked our, uh, you know, what this sort of thing because we talk about a lot of different things, don't we? We do. Yeah. Um, Mostly, it's just there's also chaos. A, yeah, it is chaos. Uh, there's also a Twitter uh, at Blathering Pods. Um, it is for the the podcast, but I do talk about uh, the YouTube as well because the YouTube and podcast is kind of connected. Um, and yeah, subscribe, like all the the rest of the you know things that general YouTuber you know better YouTubers than I say. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm not nodding about better YouTubers than you. Oh. You're the best. Oh, thank you. You're very good as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a lie. <laughs> All right, then. See you. Uh, Till the next time, folks.